ASICs, Bitcoin mining rigs, Bitcoin miners. They have a lot of different names, but we're talking about the same thing. Computers that are hyper-specialized to do one thing and one thing only, mine Bitcoin. ASICs are incredibly powerful and they consume a lot of energy. There are a few different types of ASICs. And if you're looking to get into Bitcoin mining, you need to make sure you choose the right one for you and your goals. There are three different types of ASICs you can purchase, old generation, mid generation, and new generation, and they each come with their own set of trade-offs. Just as Bitcoin has four year halving cycles, Bitcoin mining hardware also operates on roughly four year cycles. Every four years, technology advances and we get new, more powerful, more efficient Bitcoin mining rigs. However, a common theme which we've discussed ad nauseum in Blockware content is that each new generation of Bitcoin mining hardware, although it is more powerful and more efficient than older models, the gains between each new generation are diminishing. Let's start with the newest generation Bitcoin miners. Obviously, as with anything, buying the latest and greatest version of a technology makes a lot of sense, especially when it comes to Bitcoin mining because it's a highly competitive industry. Having the machine with the most hash power and the most efficiency is going to give you the highest profit margins and having the most efficient hardware is going to allow you to continue to mine profitably even if the Bitcoin price is down or we just came off a of halving. Now, the trade-off with new generation hardware is, of course, it's going to be more expensive than some of the older generation stuff. However, what we've been seeing is that mining hardware, even the new generation stuff, its price is very correlated to the price of Bitcoin. During the 2020 to 2024 cycle, the new generation hardware at the time, the Antminer S19 series, saw its price go from roughly $20 per terahash at the start to over $100 per terahash by the end. So the new generation hardware of this cycle, which is the Antminer S21 line of machines, we can reasonably expect the same thing, especially if Bitcoin goes on another massive bull market. Next is the older generation hardware. Old generation machines, you might also hear them referred to as legacy hardware. Now, at the time of this video, that would be your Antminer S19 series. The advantage of older generation hardware is that you're going to pay a much lower price, especially right now with the price of Bitcoin being down and we just came off a of halving. Unless you have very low electricity costs, most old generation machines are not going to be profitable. As everyone's trying to pile into the newest generation hardware, this leaves the price of old generation machines very low. And if you do have access to that low cost power, it can actually make more sense to purchase some of the old generation hardware. Also, if you're incredibly bullish on the price of Bitcoin, it might make sense to purchase some older generation machines. While they may not be profitable right now, they will be profitable if Bitcoin goes on a massive bull run in 2025. Because the price of Bitcoin can increase much faster than mining difficulty, you'll likely see a period of time where even the old generation machines will be printing money. A good way to think of them is kind of like out of the money call options. Right now you're buying these machines and they're basically worth nothing unless you have really low electricity. However, if Bitcoin rips, they're going to be worth a whole lot more. During the last cycle, the old generation machines of the time, the Antminer S9, their price actually outperformed that of spot Bitcoin. Now, at that time, there wasn't necessarily a highly liquid secondary market to sell them into, but thanks to the Blockware marketplace, Users can buy and sell machines and trade Bitcoin mining hardware just like any other asset. And the last type of machine would be somewhere in the middle. Now, the middle generation stuff, it's not like the legacy hardware and it's not like the new stuff. It's somewhere in between. For example, the Antminer S19K Pro. It has an energy efficiency of 23 watts per terahash and a hash rate of 120 per terahash. Right now, at most hosting rates, these machines are going to be around break even. Now, they're a really good option if you're not looking to deploy as much capital as you need to buy a fleet of new generation machines, but you still want something that's decently efficient and is not at risk of being severely underwater. Due to the high premium placed on the newest generation stuff, for a lot of miners, it makes sense to go with more of these mid-generation machines. Having a lower upfront cost means your payback period is going to be much shorter, especially as this bull market starts to take off. The last thing we'll talk about is immersion miners. These are interesting because unlike traditional Bitcoin mining, which uses air-cooled technology, these use a liquid cooling solution, which allows them to hash at a much higher rate. For example, the What's Miner M66S, which is an immersion ASIC, can reach a hash rate of up to 330 terahash per second. This is insane, and it hardly loses any efficiency for doing so. Now, why would you want that much hash rate? And is it worth giving up a little bit of energy efficiency? Well, it depends mostly on the Bitcoin price. During Bitcoin bull markets, you essentially want to quote unquote, pour as much gasoline on the fire as possible. 
So having more hash rate, even if it means you're sacrificing just a little bit of efficiency can make sense as your revenue is going to be so much higher and you're not as much concerned with the cost side of the equation in that scenario. Now, during times such as Bitcoin bear market or after the halving, when minor margins are kind of crunched, you're going to be maximally concerned with efficiency. So in this scenario, you're going to want the most efficient machine, which might not be immersion. Another advantage to immersion is you're going to have less downtime and less physical deterioration because it's simply a better cooling technology. So whether you choose immersion or air cooled, new generation or old, Bitcoin mining is the best way to position yourself to accumulate Bitcoin and to benefit from Bitcoin bull markets. You can start mining today at marketplace.blockwaresolutions.com.